Hello everyone and welcome back to another pick a card tarot reading. So in today's video we are going to be discussing the full moon in Capricorn and I'm going to be giving you some tarot messages about it. So that full moon in Capricorn is going to be happening on June 24th, 2021 and these readings are timeless so when you see it is when you're supposed to get it. If you're watching it around the time period of you know June 24th and I'm hoping that this message gives you some type of clarity or guidance or confirmation or helps you get through this time period and if you're seeing it you know sometime after then you know think back about how you were thinking and how you were feeling and what were you what were you trying to manifest during that time period and hopefully these messages will give you some confirmation there or some type of clarity or realization or sp or a sign of like a spiritual growth or something there's just so many um different types of ways i see this reading affecting you so i am excited to get into it all these messages are going to be completely different from each other so you can be drawn to one of them you can be drawn to all of them however many you want so we have the harumphant card here this will be pile one and it's the amethyst stone that's paired with it and then we have pile two which is the sun of wands and the labradorite stone and then i have pile three which is the sun card and the malachite stone and then i have pile four which is the nine of pentacles and the uh, peruvian angelite stone so i'll leave the timestamps down below I'll let you take some deep breaths in and out, close your eyes, and pick a card. Hello everyone, so if you chose pile number one, or the Herumphant card, or the Amethyst Crystal, then this message is for you. So before we pull some tarot cards, I kind of just want to talk about the intuitive messages I was receiving from this card. So right off the bat, the um, crone, the, the photo of the crone or the crow, whatever you want to call it, is what stood out to me the most. It really makes me think of Saturn energy um, and maybe even a little bit of Uranus energy with the lightning bolts. Um, and that's super interesting the harumphant card in tarot it deals a lot with tradition and um i like this energy of having the keys it's like you finally are able to unlock maybe a new level to you or unlock this new chapter to you or unlock this new ability um and i think you're learning about that though through these like more saturnian and uranian themes of rebelling and of um also knowing when it's time to discipline yourself knowing when it's um a limitation that you can and can't push through like knowing your um strengths and your weaknesses knowing your limitations so that way you don't push yourself through too far there is this interesting like warrior like energy here of like i'm gonna make it i'm gonna get it i'm gonna go for something big and i really feel like you can and i feel like you may get tested though through um, your limitations, you know, suddenly having to maybe do things that you normally suck at, you know, having to push through and get good at that for, you know, in the name of the greater scheme of things, in the name of, you know, your true long-term goal. So an example of this would be like maybe, you know, you really want to um, get that education, okay? but you know you're really bad at math and that's been like a reason you've never like gone back and now you get to go back and now you're like ready to face that I guess confidence killer or like ego killer of like being bad at something you have to like go back and face it that's just an example you know of how this of how this is channeling to me it just feels like there's this warrior energy of pushing through and knowing that you can do it there is in optimism here coming in like knowing that you can do it and this is the right path for you so all these obstacles are are not gonna you know stop you it's super super interesting this energy so um 
I immediately also thought of this page in this book. It's called The Archetypes Guidebook by Kim Kranz, and they have a page in here called The Crone. I'm just going to read it to you. It says, The Crone. The crone has seen it all. Nothing frightens or surprises her. She is a final manifestation of the feminine trifecta of maiden mother crone. In her life, in her long life, she witnessed endless cycles of death, sex, failure, rebirth, conflict, and regeneration, giving her the ability to rise above the world of duality. She laughs at notions of good, bad, right or wrong and has seen the earth churning smoldering taking life and giving life the crone energy accepts everything in devouring beauty and suffering with the same mouth and using their energy to reveal hidden secrets and knowledge her energy resides in all of us though it is feared by most for its power and unconventional relationship with death and the macrobe Awakening the crone is danger dangerously rich and unapologetically magic. It says when it's in light, this energy is magic, clairvoyant, psychic, intuitive, and wise. When it's in dark, it's vindictive, bitter, isolated, and ostracized. Interesting energy. So I really feel this strong, strong connection to your higher self. Strong, strong connection to the divine the strong understanding of what you need to do and and how you need to do it and where you want to go and what's in your way like i feel like all that is very clear in this and you have the key you have the key to to get to that next chapter get to that um path that you want to be on now that you know you know your position to the path but let's go ahead and pull some tarot wow i love this card also this energy of the amethyst makes me feel like your dreams right now are um, super psychic, I would say, or it makes me feel like your dreams right now um, <clears throat> at least carry a lot of insight or maybe a lot of like um, psychological um, information there. So pay attention to your dreams just to see, see what's going on. All right, let's go ahead and pull some tarot cards now. What tarot messages do you have? Or pile number one group number one hopefully this is okay some of it's upright some of it is um reversed i'm gonna take a moment just to make sure all these cards are upright i do in fact read reversals but sometimes i just want to make sure that um uh, i kind of give all the cards a fair chance to be in the upright and if they fall reverse then they fall out in reverse you know so let's see. Anything else? Make sure I get all these guys. Not too many cards in reverse. Okay. Now let's go ahead and give it a good shuffle. Let's get some clarity and some messages for this group. If you guys are liking this reading so far and you want to book a personal reading with me, um, I am open. Links are down below. Okay, let's go ahead and deal. Let's get some main archetype cards and lessons for this group for the full moon. Look at where the sign of Capricorn is in your chart and that will be where the full moon is happening, that area of life. Um, I'll post a photo of um, a birth chart or, so, or the, the wheel and its definitions on the screen. You guys have probably seen it a million times. So that way you kind of know what area of life this full moon will be um, playing out in. Okay, let's see. Let's get some messages, full moon messages for this group. Hmm, nothing's falling. I might have to switch decks. <laughs> Never mind. There goes one. All right. So we have the four of cups here. Interesting. Next, we have the full <laughs> big old difference in energies there, which makes me happy. Maybe, maybe this group is like freaking out for no reason or like feeling a little stressed out. Let's see. Let's see what else comes out before I speak. Okay, we have 
Three of Cups. I like this energy a lot. Okay. And we have Ten of Wands. Okay, let me just make sure everything's in frame. I might have to move it up a bit. <coughs> Now let's get some confirmation cards. Can we please confirm this Four of Cups card? Ooh, that fell. Coming out with the Two of Wands. Okay. Can I get confirmation for this Fool card? Coming out with the Ten of Pentacles. Can I get this Three of Cups? And this ten of wands. Ooh, okay, so we have the nine of wands that fell. And I do have a seven of swords here. Let's get two more just to tell me a bit more about the seven of swords card. Ooh, come out with a three of swords. Alright. Ooh. Okay, let's get one more to confirm that energy of the seven of swords. Let's see. Here it is. The sun. You might want to watch maybe the sun reading as well. Okay. Now let's go ahead and read these cards. This looks super interesting. Let's see what's going on in the background here. And then we'll get back over to this pile. <clears throat> so let me channel a little bit. Okay, the Four of Cups card is really sticking out to me. Um, I feel like this group is like, there is a resistance here coming from this group, but this resistance is, is you. you. Like, the universe and the spirit is all for you moving forward and moving into this next chapter. And I feel like this next chapter is a lot, like, more optimistic and better of a time than you're maybe thinking it might be in your head something that I keep channeling as I look at this card is like something's not sitting right with your spirit and that is why like it's really hard to enjoy or be excited for what's to come forward but you know the next card that fell out was the full card and if you look at the image here like this person is all excited to jump into that new beginning to take that leap of faith to, to go into something unknown so I do feel like there's a realization or a switch that happens and you kind of start to figure out what it is that was sitting kind of funky with your spirit to me it's like with the two wands one of the things that maybe wasn't sitting right was perhaps like you didn't really like have a lot of control of how this next chapter was going to play out or like um, maybe you didn't have time to like really calculate how things were going to play out or like maybe you had to make some like blind decisions and that could be why we were f kind of overthinking or freaking out or feeling some level of stress over what's next um, but I really feel like that energy kind of like subsides in a way or that energy works itself out or that energy becomes very clear to you because again like I said the full card is a falling card so that to me shows that this full moon maybe brings you some type of closure or brings you some type of answer that allows you to kind of like uh, like have that sigh of relief and I love that you pull the ten of pentacles pentacles resembles um uh the earth signs of Capricorn and Virgo and Taurus and 10 to me is a cultivation number so I really love this energy of a cultivation number in followed you know by that full card so I really feel like you have this full circle moment coming coming up 
where you really understand how things started and then why things ended. And I think you really get to um, make your peace with your past now because of that. And, you know, because you get to make your peace with your past, you get to be way more excited about the future and about what's coming forward for you. And I love this energy of the boats, like, you know, of, of sailing. Like that energy of like sailing on smoother waters is what I envision in my mind. Like it's like, yes, you've done like the, it's like the hard part isn't over. Trust me, you're just getting started, but it's like you've done the foundation work. You've done those like the work where you're pulling out your roots and you're trying to reset yourself and you've been, you know, healing and nurturing yourself. It's like you've done the layout. You've created a strong base for you to fly essentially for you to fly and take that leap and that's what it's what what's happening right now and I think that's why we're pulling bird energy here you know being ready to spread your wings <clears throat> and I can see that you definitely had like a still point here with the hanged man card so you definitely had a point where maybe things were a little slow or you kind of weren't sure about what you were doing or like um you kind of just had to like hang out and like see where life goes and I really feel like your patience and your trust for timing and for Saturn, Saturn rules timing, you know, so your trust for Saturn is going to be rewarded with that three of cups. If you guys took that break, if you guys took that hiatus, if you guys took that time to rest, took that time to figure things out, um, I think now you're kind of ahead of the game. You have some level of clarity here. And I think Saturn's really going to reward you trusting the timing. Um, now if you like rushed things um because i do kind of feel that sense that like some of you might have rushed things i still feel like you shouldn't freak out because i don't at all see any cards here um indicating bad news or indicating some type of like failure or some type of like unhappiness a lot of these cards to me indicate happiness like again we have the nine of pentacles here and the ten of wands where it's like I love this energy it's kind of like there's this you know understanding of like the work you have to put in now but you're like in a comfortable position to do that work you have the resources you need to do that work you have the support you need to do that work and it's a blessing to be able to do that you know like some people they want to do x y and z but they can't they want to be a full-time artist but they can't they want to be you know full-time musician but they can't they have to you know work their nine to five to take care of their families but to me there's something about this group that is so perfectly positioned for the grind for success to work hard to climb that ladder to better themselves so you better like jump on that opportunity and you better like you know do that for yourself you are now, I feel like, in a very powerful position. I think you have a lot of security and stability that you maybe haven't had in a minute. And for that, you know, there might be a little bit of, like, anxiety coming in of, like, can I trust this security? You can. You can. You know why? Because you built that security yourself and you earned every single coin on this tree right now. You earned every single one. And that's why you're in a position to grind and focus on whatever it is you want to do um and I feel like a lot of you like might be um going back to school just feeling that energy a bit because of the girl reading on this card so let's get into these three extra cards that fall so we had um our seven of swords that was our main guy and then we had the three of swords come out to confirm it along with the sun card to come out and confirm it so something i'm seeing with this group is understanding intentions understanding where your intentions were weren't the best understanding when someone else's intentions weren't the best understanding where some area of life is taking from you and draining you way more than it's giving this might not be true for everybody but there but i feel like there is 
like I said, we have this energy of cultivation, so there might be this energy of really finalizing and finishing off a more like, I hate the word toxic, so I want to say that, but a more like negative part of your life or a more negative part of yourself. There's like an acceptance of that. There's a growth from that. There's a lot of learning that happens from that. And that's why we have the sun card here. It's like an ego death, but from that comes a stronger ego. You know what I mean? From that, you kind of like were able to free yourself because you just put your ego to, to the side and accepted, you know, whatever this was. To me, I'm feeling a lot of like relationship stuff for this group. Like, maybe understanding like I said where you were taking more than you were giving and also understanding where you were giving more than you were taking and where you know just where things were unfair where the power and control dynamics may have gotten off balance and I feel like you are gaining a new sense of self-respect though from understanding this experience and reflecting on this experience and I think in the long run, it's going to allow you to create stronger relationships for yourself because you'll kind of know what boundaries to set right off the bat and you'll kind of know where you can sometimes, you know, fall into shadow or fall into a more negative state or fall into a more, you know, emotionally like um, unhealthy or unbalanced state and then can sometimes um, project that onto your relationships. And also, you know, knowing when someone's doing that to you there's also the sense of having patience too as well for yourself and for other people while they learn these lessons like you know the our society is so quick to quit uh quick to just like cut people off and and drop people and I really don't believe in that I don't believe that people are disposable because if you treat people like that you're never going to find anyone who stays you're never going to be able to bond with people because no one is perfect you know there's that Bob Marley quote it goes um everyone's gonna hurt you you gotta find the people worth hurting for though which is true everyone's human everyone's gonna make mistakes and mess up and sometimes hurt your feelings sometimes like you know be a bad friend and you gotta communicate that set boundaries voice that forgive learn grow and love again like that's how relationships and you know that's how relationships work okay Trying to see if I want to pull some extra cards. I think I want to pull a postcard for this group. So we're going to pull a postcard from Spirit from the Colette Baron Reed deck. I do, will list all the decks I used down below in the description box in case you guys want to check them out and get them for yourselves. Okay. Let's go ahead and pull a card for this group can we get a postcard for this group Let's just pull one card because these messages are pretty long. Um, let's pull, oh, here it is. Okay, I'll go ahead and read it to you guys. It says, Dearest you, we're a chatty bunch over here always talking about how to support you in your life's journey. We communicate with you through the language of oracles, dreams, signs, metaphors, and omens. What did I say to this group? I feel like y'all's dreams were like prophetic in some type of way. Anyways, it says, In your life on earth, however, clarity in your communication is essential to being understood. If you don't speak, I'm oh, sorry, you don't speak in symbols, and if you did, you would definitely confuse things. Right now, you're facing a situation in which you're being asked to have integrity, be clear, and learn how to ask for your needs to be met. The first step is to admit out loud that you have needs. The second is to ask out loud for them to be met. And the third is to allow the other person, organization, or even uh, even us to answer you. 
When you follow these steps, you can most definitely expect an answer in your favor. And um, I'll hold that up in case you want to screenshot it and read it back over. But yeah, I, I think that definitely confirms what I was saying about setting those boundaries and um, kind of understanding um, how, how and when and you know kind of like embracing and learning the art of communication and getting better at that because I really feel like for this group you know you guys have been um letting the lack of communication in your life like really like throw so many extra hurdles your way or really like limit you in some type of really way or hold you back in some type of way and I feel like you know now you're in a position again where there's absolutely no need like whatever was holding you back in the first place like now it can be worked through now it can be overcame like all your fears anxieties whatever like i really believe that you're in a position now you're strong enough to you know go up against them and start to gain power back and you know this gives me chills honestly because i'm someone who also really struggles with speech especially like in person speech because I have, you know, social anxiety, so it, like, you know, sparks it, and then so on and so on, and one thing I've learned from this is to just do it anxious, you know, have that conversation anxious, do that speech anxious, do that presentation anxious, whatever, who cares, no one's going to remember it the next day, and at the end of the day, you're going to be proud of yourself for, you know, having the cojones to get up and do it, and you know, it's time to stop letting these anxieties or these limitations or these insecurities be in your way anymore. Because we're at the end of the day, we're all insecure. Trust me, we are all insecure. So you're not the only one. And um, like I said, it's not going to haunt you forever, okay? Um, but yeah, all right, pile one. So that was your reading. I really hope you guys enjoyed this. If you guys picked this pile, comment down below with some uh, purple heart emojis. So that way I know which pile you picked. Um, and if you enjoyed this reading and want to book with me, check out my links down below. I'd love to do a personal reading for you. But yeah, it was such a pleasure working with your energy. And I hope you subscribe to this channel. And I'll see you in my next video. Hello everyone. So if you chose the Sun of Wands or the Labradorite Stone, then this message is for you. So when i pulled this card i immediately picked up on a lot of fire sign energy so leo sagittarius and why am i blanking on the fucking aries <laughs> yeah leo sagittarius and aries energy and i immediately felt also very like tired um there is an energy here of like having the fire sort of like put out for a second and that could happen sometimes when we're you know in well water seasons um sometimes the fire signs maybe can kind of feel a little bit more tired or drained that's just something i've noticed and i'm feeling it here um and then i also immediately thought of just the behavior of a snake and how a snake um likes to hide and coil up for the most part and it really only comes out to do what it needs to you know get its food to get a drink of water and then it goes back in and it curls itself back up so that's like something i'm seeing here um i'm also you know getting the energy of like shedding your skin you know how snakes will literally shed their entire skin in one piece um and that kind of feels like that's what's happening here and that's why you're in this like you know coiled up hermit mode kind of vibe because you're in that process of shedding your skin and um getting ready to take on like a new image or getting ready to take on a new attitude or getting ready to sort of release and let go maybe of old like parts of yourself but i want to be more specific when i say that it feels like you're letting go of like let me see it because it, this energy of shedding the skin does not feel easy and you know when i say it it kind of feels like a positive thing but no like it there's something in this 
process that I sense is not easy. It's not easy to let go of yourself. You sometimes have to grieve, you know, a lot of your um, past life. And there's a big focus here for this group, I think, to pay attention to the past, to pay attention to that, because I feel like you've been like running from it for quite some time in cancer season, you know, cancer rules, um, ancestry, and uh, your roots. Okay, so that's, we have that sun in cancer. I know this is a full moon in Capricorn video, um, but I just feel, you know, that the theme of cancer family is very present for this group. And um, I think it's important to give yourself the time to feel those emotions out, give yourself the space to release them, to talk about them, to write them out, to run them out any way you can. Because um, I feel like there's a freeing energy that comes from it when you finally do it's like oh like this group is tired of running it's tired of running it doesn't want to do that anymore and i feel like this is like now the time to kind of like face everything head on and i feel like you have a lot of support and luck and strength and like in in going for that process let's see um also something about this group like i was drawn to this deck which is colorless um, it was super interesting. I pulled the sun card. Maybe watch that um, pile. I also pulled it for another pile too, so it's interesting. I haven't, I haven't done that reading yet, but I'm excited too. But um, I feel like uh, man, now I got distracted. And I lost my train of thought. I'm sorry, you guys. It's okay. We're just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna shut up and I'm just gonna pull tarot cards. Oh, I remember what I was saying. I was saying that I was. It's interesting that I was drawn to this deck because it's colored. It's not colored in it's black and white and I feel like that's a lot of this group's energy in this group's life it's black and white okay and I think it's kind of uncomfortable for this group because maybe this group is usually used to things being like tricky or to things being like hidden or to things being like you know like to having to be on the defense like I think of the snake and I think of how a snake is like always on the lookout always ready for its predators and it's always ready to attack and fight and defend itself but I feel like there is a sense of like life right now is very this or that black and white. There is no hidden energy. There is no like, um, you know, hidden thing that's going to come and bite you in the butt. And I think you have to tell yourself that so that way you can take the opportunity to color your life in. In case you can color, you can start to color your life in. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and pull some cards. This is my first time working with these um, hermetic tarot cards and I'll leave everything down below but I love 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 like studying different types of tarot I'm gonna make a YouTube video on that you guys so stay tuned all right let's get some messages here for group number two in regards to this time period of the full moon what's happening let's get some confirmation guidance and clarity and what do you have to say for this group? Oh, you know what? Before I begin, I actually wanted to read a page from this book called Archetypes Guidebook by Ken Kranz. And I wanted to read the page about the flame because I immediately thought of this flame when I pulled this card because it also kind of, to me, looks like this bird is like wrapped around this like bright flame so let's read it it says the faint the flame the fire the spark the glimmer in sanskrit the word for fire is agni the ancient yogi saw this flame at the center of the abdomen and believed it is responsible for our vitality when it is lit we are connected to our purpose and sense that life is a sacred gift it is said that those who cannot see the sacred around them have let their inner flame go out. Think of this card as a call to reignite that fire and to cup your hands gently around those things you have forgotten and protect the flame no matter how harshly the winds of life blow. It could be an inner archetype that begs you to light its wick. It is likely that the poet, the mystic, or the shaman would call to you with the language of the flame. It says when it's in light, it's health, mental clarity, and good digestion. When it's in dark, it's excess heat and anger and complete darkness. 
interesting i wonder if anyone in this group has been you know dealing with tummy problems i feel like that could be tied to this flame archetype on whether or not you're you're connected to soul purpose whether or not you're um feeling passionate and lit up within also i could be sensing a bit of sacral chakra <coughs> the sacral chakra energy only because um it feels there's like this underlying tone of sexual energy here sexual empowerment sexual control you know um sexual freedom sexual expression there's that underlying energy in there and how sometimes being in touch with that energy empowers you spiritually emotionally mentally in ways like it would have been um if you like weren't in touch you know what i mean or if you were expressing that energy in a more scattered way but it feels like being in touch and in tune with that underlying sexual side of yourself is going to be a confidence booster going to help you like ignite that flame within you in any type of way so maybe watch like youtube videos about sacral chakra also watch about um um oh my god why am i blinking on my chakras right now i think it's so funny how sometimes you can be like really good at like complex stuff and then someone asks you the most basic question ever in your brain and it's just blank you're like fried <laughs> but um uh what is the chakra i'm thinking of it's not the sacral it's the solar plexus that's the one i'm thinking about also maybe watch for the solar plexus chakra as well because that can also um be a chakra that can help you balance out your vitality so yeah i feel like something about this group is maybe feeling a little bit low on energy you gotta figure out why that is and what is draining you and where in your life like you might not be charging yourself up in the way you need to be charging yourself up let's see let's get some tarot messages for this group first card we have is queen of pentacles i love that the last group pulled that as well uh, let's get this energy all right let's get some archetypes here and messages here about this full moon coming up and how it will affect this group three of wands all right let's see I'm gonna keep pulling. I want the cards to like fall fall. I'm gonna give it another shuffle. Let's get two more archetype cards here. Okay. Two more archetype cards for this girl. Ooh, the devil card coming out. I was sensing that card too before um before i pull or before i started channeling messages for this group let's see what else comes out can get another archetype card for this group oh here we go ten of cups oh i love okay let's also pull some confirmation okay I was looking at the three of wands with the hangman to confirm. Can I get some confirmation on this queen of pentacles energy? We have the high priestess. Ooh, beautiful. So many major arcana cards coming up. Let's get some confirmation for that devil card. And we have the star again, major arcana. And let's get confirmation for the ten of cups, please. Ooh, this group your energy is very powerful right now it's such a spiritual time for you in a sense where like i think you change a lot internally and because of your like um external environmental um situations but i'm gonna dive deeper into that hang on let me pull some let me pull one extra yeah ooh let's put that back i want to be precise let me get one extra sort of main card here here it is our six of wands and then two cards to confirm our six of wands please and to confirm our six of wands let's see hmm 
Ooh, we have the death card coming out to confirm that six of wands. Let's get one more. Ten of wands to confirm that. Okay, lots of wands here. Lots of fire energy. Let's put this right here for now. And let's take a look at your spread. So... The devil card, like I said, popped out to me right off the bat. So let's talk about this. So the devil card, it, we are, I think, working through one our more material like attachments to things and how that our material attachments to things tie into our ego and then how we're projecting that onto other people i know that's a little bit complicated so let me try and break it down a bit but it's kind of like um the double card to me makes me think of the archetypes of control all right control and having power and having and what i mean by power is not you know like uh running the world what i mean by power is having control what i mean by power is having resources having support having everything you need to get what you want is power um and the devil card here really asks you to get to the bottom of what's fueling that get to the bottom of what's fueling that get to the bottom of what the intention is for wanting that and also notice how you have allowed or maybe how you have projected that energy onto other people like wanting to maybe um always control the plants wanting to maybe um have a certain ending play out exactly in your way and you're not really considering the how the you're know, not really considering the other people involved you know what i mean it's that kind of energy so whether you are embodying that energy or just around that energy right now you want to be aware of it be well aware of it there's a little bit of trickster energy i get here like maybe like there's like this perfect like illusion here it's like this perfect like illusion that's like acting like a wave and it's taking you somewhere but you know it's pulled out with the star card here so i think a lot of things are simultaneously aligning <laughs> at the same time which is a really interesting you know combination of cards and i also feel heavily that you need to look towards your saturn energy placement i'm channeling a lot of saturn in aries energy also you know if you don't have saturn and aries energy just to explain that archetype it's you know when it falls into shadow saturn and aries energy can be like well i suffered and had to do the hard work so you have to suffer and do the hard work and i had to you know uh do blah 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 so no i'm not going to help this person they have to figure it out on their own do you know what i mean it can be very like um, selfish in that way it can be very like mean or in that way or it can be cold in that way and i think that's something to be like aware of because then again that's you like projecting your own insecurity onto someone else or maybe like i said that could be what someone else is doing to you and you want to be aware of that and maybe stick up for yourself or not fall into that trap because this feels like a trap this feels like you let this thing um ruin like relationships for you all the time or you let this thing like ruin um you know your career goals at this all the time like by you not letting people win or by you not letting um a, a, not being like a good team player a good sport you're not having good sportsmanship like how is that getting in your way that is the energy i'm thinking of right now and I think if you're having a lot of time alone, it's so you can reflect on that. And it's so that way you can maybe like, I'm getting the energy of like having flashbacks and like remembering moments when maybe, you know, the tables were turned and you were on the other side of things and you, you kind of getting perspective on how 
you've made other people feel because like I said I, I feel like yes you um um also you know have like I don't want to invalidate anybody by saying this because I feel like you know everybody's hurt you know everyone's hurt and then we act on those hurts all the time and you know that's why we have this energy of wanting to heal wanting to catch ourselves in our moments so we can stop hurting people while us while we are hurt you ever heard that you know you ever heard that explained for people hurt other people that's not always true but i feel like in this case it might be a little bit true let's see this energy of the high priestess and the queen of pentacles is supreme power right here there you have this supreme divine feminine yin type power i don't mean to sound heteronormative but um i'm just you know throwing trying to describe this archetype but you have this like very yin soft intuitive in touch with the flow of life like not having to try so hard you're just kind of riding through life and you know things come to you at the right time you know that um there's this strong sense of being in tune that i'm feeling and it's like this yin heavy yin energy is why this devil energy which is heavy yang energy is not going to work it's not welcomed i think there's a sense of you having to understand that you can be strong and like like strength is um an aura right strength is an aura and sometimes the most intimidating person in the room is the one sitting in the corner minding their business like um uh not like flexing their strength so there's this is the energy i'm kind of like thinking about. it's like this energy of like a lion doesn't have to roar for everyone to know it's a lion you don't have to like be intimidating you don't have to like you know have this defense up or put this guard up or have this stink face or whatever for people to know you're strong because that strength in you is so obvious already that when you do kind of like rub it in people's faces it, it can be seen as like a threat and i feel this huge archetype of being misunderstood here and it's kind of like you know the energy of a snake a boa like a uh what's the type of snake i'm thinking of um, a python a regular python it's very um you know docile creature uh, really only will bite if it's provoked or if it's scared okay or if it's in shed and typically it gives you warning signs before it does um and no not me losing my train of thought <laughs> but um what i was saying was um right but this creature it hello edit miss queen but anyways, what I was saying was this creature tends to be really misunderstood where people can think snakes are really scary and snakes are really mean and they're like vicious poisonous creatures. Um, and I feel like you are shedding that narrative. Okay. You know, we talked about shedding your skin in the beginning and I feel like that's one of the things that you're letting go is that narrative of like being the villain in the story, the narrative of like being the mean one the narrative of having to assert your power i feel like you're no longer asserting your power you just know that power is within you and it radiates to everybody else and they know that power is within you and naturally people will be drawn to that and naturally people will follow that and i think that's why it's important for you to be in this mindset or to uh, vibrate on this type of energetic level because i think you are someone who people are supposed to follow and look up to let's see all right my eye was immediately then drawn to the ten of cups 
the six of swords I really feel there is heavy heavy emotional waves coming through and sometimes when we have really heavy emotional waves coming through it makes it hard for us to like be in tune with our body and like get up and go get up and do stuff right it's like the energy of like you know people can easily like go to work with a headache but for some people it can be really hard to like have to go to work you know after grieving having to go to work after like experiencing heavy loss like our emotions can really take us out and that's something i'm seeing here is that there could be heavy emotions coming in i'm not saying it's grief or loss but i'm saying like maybe it's like just realizations epiphanies flashbacks um stuff like that and i think you're gonna have to practice some level of like discipline right now okay you're gonna have to like then learn how to process your emotions you're gonna have to learn how to understand your emotions so that way you can you know balance out the rest of your life and not let this emotional wave kind of like come in and throw you off um and i feel like you are someone who's good at that and not too worried but i feel like you needed that reminder okay so practice that self-discipline be on that routine because they're really i sense an, an emotional intelligence coming alongside those emotional you know waves so it's not just emotional waves with lack of clarity it's emotional waves with like extreme clarity extreme intelligence and i think that's allowing you to understand yourself it's allowing you to like reconnect with yourself and it's allowing you to level up too and i think it's also allowing you to like forgive people and move on as well ten of cups kind of indicates to me an emotional completion okay i'm not no longer being emotionally tied to something which is awesome okay then i was immediately drawn to the three of wands which is interesting because we have the two of wands right here so i do see improvement i do see a progression so something i'm seeing with this group is i feel like you guys kind of are going back and forth from like being in dreamer mode planner mode to then being in like complete like soldier mode i'm gonna make it happen i want to get it done right now i'm gonna go for my goals and you like maybe like strive so high that you feel really small compared to your goals and then you know it's like that energy of like i'm gonna do you know this 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 i'm gonna get to level 10 by tomorrow and then tomorrow rolls around you're not at level 10 you're at level one and then you start to feel like man i'm never gonna get to level 10 i feel so bad i suck and blah 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 when in all reality that's not true we're like psychologically psyching ourselves out a bit you know you shouldn't you you were always able to get to level 10 but maybe just you didn't give, your, you give yourself enough time or you didn't you know give yourself enough of us you know give yourself that strong foundation to build from you know work your way up to level one first work your way up to level two three four you don't have to go from zero to 100 overnight and call that success it's not success i think success is just steady constant work and feeling proud of it and feeling happy to do it you know knowing that you're gonna grow over time in this strong and steady and secure way it's making me think you might want to look at your saturn energy and your mars energy mars rules your ambitions and your drive and your sort of energetic bank to go for what it is that you want and saturn is gonna show you you know where you gotta work hard where you're gonna have to persevere okay we're gonna have to put in that work and mars usually listens to saturn it says okay yes i'm gonna put in that work that's the kind of dialogue we want between the two we want saturn telling mars what to do and mars getting it done sometimes not all the time depends on the person but that's kind of the dialogue i'm channeling here for you guys seeing if i am channeling any other messages let's go ahead and take a look at this little three card spread okay so we had the six of wands 
I think it was that fell and the death card and the two of wands okay so let's look at these lords okay we have the lord of victory here and the lord of domination coming out with the death card it says the child of great transformation so i think that's one thing we're trying to learn how to transform is that domination energy with that within us because i think that domination energy can turn into competitive energy so quick it can turn into um enemy energy so quick you know and you could be someone who wonders why um people might be like always trying to fight them always trying to compete with them and i feel like you're really getting to the bottom of why now and you're really able to like end that cycle and transform that cycle i feel like if you have a, any scorpio energy around you um you're really lucky because i feel like they're going to kind of scorpio energy tends to like draw out um your shadow sides draw out the more subconscious sides to you and and draw out the hidden parts to you just the scorpio's presence alone will do that so if you are around scorpios just know that might be the mission right now is to understand the darker sides to you understand the more hidden sides to you the more shadowy sides to you and this is also you can better yourself this is also you can grow this is also you can mature you don't want to be working from that place of domination you know we want to be working from a place of passion we want to be working from a place of um you know maybe even compassion but not domination okay because i think victory is promised to you in so many ways and it's kind of like you're going to i feel like your character right now is is being reviewed not by other people i don't want you to feel like oh my god i'm being perceived in this way no this is a, i feel an internal thing between you and you only you can feel this and sense this within yourself but I do want to say, like, you know, we have this um, energy, Lord of perf uh, Preferred Success, coming out with, learn with Lord of Earned Success. So I really feel like these successes coming into you, like, do know they're rewards for your hard work. You earned it. You gained it. You deserve it. Don't let people, don't feel like you don't have a seat at the table. You have the seat at the table. You have something steady. You're building something steady right now okay just check looking at like we have a queen of thrones of earth the high priestess of the social star lord of established strength with spirit of mighty waters i love that energy because water and, and the word water and the word established they don't go well together because water it flows it moves it is taking shape of its container it is something you can't necessarily control all the time lord of established strength so this to me indicates that even though things around you could be chaotic and moving and and all over the place you yourself are strong and not going anywhere you yourself are set so while everyone around you is freaking out i don't i want you to know you don't have to while everyone's around you freaking out you're resting you're vibing your money your business you're doing you you're getting your money you're like you're focused on yourself and on your life and i think that's being heavily rewarded right now with this capricorn full moon i like this energy so don't be afraid to face your shadow sides don't feel like oh if i face my shadow sides um i'm no longer going to be worthy of things that's not true you know we all have parts to ourselves that are negative or that are dark or that are mean i don't know anybody who you know is nice and genuine and real 100 percent of the time and if they are you know there's a part of them inside that can be triggered where that can that switch can flip and they can fight you and they'll have to defend yourself like i said there is a dark and heavy side to most of us i will say and i really feel like by tapping into yours you really free yourself from 
so many narratives, so many limitations. And I think you really allow yourself to come out more authentically. Because I don't think you're this mean person. I don't think you're this, you know, defensive person or whatever. I really think you're a strong, magnetic, beautiful, powerful, transformative person. And I think you had to let that be seen. I feel like you hide a lot of yourself in order to like protect yourself in some type of way or in order to like, yeah, it feels like you might hide yourself in order to protect yourself. But I feel like being seen protects you even more. Letting people love you protects you even more. Letting people um, protect you too, you know, is what's really gonna help. Let other people protect you too. Okay, so interesting. All right, let's go ahead and pull a postcard from Spirit now from the Colette Baron Reed deck. Excited. Let's get a postcard message for this group. Postcard message for this group, please. I really hope that this group knows, like, I don't want you to leave this reading feeling like, man, that YouTube tarot reader, like, just shat on my entire existence. <laughs> like, <clears throat> no, I don't want you to feel like, oh, like, you're the worst person ever, and like, yada yada. Like, what I want you to feel is that it's okay. That it's okay to make mistakes, that it's okay to be wrong sometimes that it's okay to mess up as long as you are healing from it and as long as you change you don't make it a pattern you don't make it a habit and as long as you are you know in in touch with your empathy in touch with your emotions and you you know apologize when it's time to apologize you're in touch with your humility you let yourself be wrong when you're wrong there's so much more strength and bravery in a person who is able to do that than someone who can't admit their faults, you know? I personally would rather be around a person who is well aware of the fact that they're not perfect than the person who is, you know, trying to convince everybody that they're a perfect sweet little baby angel. Like, come on. Okay, let's get this postcard. And I think, you know, like I said, bye facing your demons, facing your shadow sides, I really think you can kick their ass and you can just be free from that and you can naturally, I don't know, like it feels like you're going to be more naturally yourself because you're not acting on your shadow sides, you're not acting on the darker parts of you because you face the darker parts of you and you set light to it. You know, I'm getting this energy of like, oh, I'm gonna chills as I download this image, but I think of a snake and how it eats an egg. And, you know, the egg to me, it res resembles fertility. And it feel like it's like you are taking something, you swallow it and you're like transmuting it into something healthy for you transmuting it into lessons for you it's like you take what's dark you turn it into lessons you you take what's negative about you and you turn it into your greatest strength you know you take it's like you take a level of darkness and you flip it into light it's so beautiful this energy of feeling you it's like the energy of you swallowing something whole and then just you're so strong and you're so secure and you're so like invincible right now that when you it's like oh this image I wish I could describe it but you it just you the way it feels is you feel strong and you feel invincible and it just feels like you're swallowing up anything that's in your way and like I said you it's like the energy of like if someone so sends you evil eye you're able to like turn it into energy if somebody you know tries to come in and be your enemy you're, you're, you're able to turn them into your most loyal friend like that's the type of energy I feel okay it's 
beautiful. Let's get some confirmation from this group. A, a postcard for this group, please. Let's see. Postcard for this group, please. Oh, okay. One fell. Alright, so I'll go ahead and read it to you guys. It says, Dear you, what is true for you? Can you be impeccable with your words? Sure you can. As long as it's not used to manipulate others, the truth can set everyone free. Let go of the results, let go of your fears, and allow the truth to empower you and others. This will set into motion a kind of change that will be supportive of you and loving and all kinds of prosperous. This is not a time to compromise and hide your truth from others. Whatever it is you want, go for it and be clear in your motives, especially with yourself. You will be happy you did. This is a time where you will tap into the power to co-create and manifest your best life. Doesn't that feel amazing? And the results? Miraculous. When you tell the truth and ask the, uh, the same of others, you can learn a lot from life's bountiful lessons and achieve your dreams. Loving you always. Wow, I really love that energy. I'm going to hold it up so you can screenshot that and read it back. But, geez, it really feels like... Um, I feel like this really confirms what I was saying about um, bringing things to light. Okay? bringing things to light, telling the truth, being more empowered by that. I love this energy. All right, group number two, thank you so much for watching this video. If you made it this far, maybe comment some like snake emojis down below so I know which pile you picked. Um, don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe to my channel so that way I know you guys like this type of content. I could keep putting more content out like this. Um, but yeah, it was such a pleasure working with your energy and I'll see you in my next video. Bye! Hello group number three, so if you chose the sun card or the malachite card, then this message is for you. And I am really excited for this reading because the sun card has popped up in the two readings before this, so something about this reading feels important or feels emphasized. And I will say something about this reading feels extremely optimistic, extremely positive. I am getting, like, when I looked at this card, I immediately thought of Sun and Cancer making, and then Jupiter trining that um, Sun sign, so um, there is this sense of expansion and wanting more, wanting to grow, and an optimism to back it up for this group, and I really love this energy of birds for this group. <clears throat> I feel like you know, the symbols of feather could be following you around, or perhaps um, if you've had like the symbol of the bird following you around, then um, it could be uh, talking about that sun uh, and Jupiter transit. So uh, Jupiter trining sun and Cancer, Jupiter and Pisces trining sun and Cancer. Whew, my brain's all over the place. I will say like something about this group it feels they feel like scattered like your mind is very scattered but I also feel like this group is the most grounded they've ever been like all year like there might be a lot of things moving and changing and so your mind is required to try and like keep track of a bunch of things yet there is this sense though of feeling very grounded um I also immediately thought of Father's Day for this group. <coughs> Ooh, they get like a very weird energy as so I like um, say that, but the sun, the sun in astrology um, can represent or signify the father. And so um, I immediately thought of this, uh, I feel a lot of Father's Day, and then I immediately got the sensation of headaches. So, um, I want to read a page for you guys from the Archetype Guidebook by Kim Kranz. I'm going to pull it up. Let me find it. 
where's the table of contents here it is all right the father page 65 so let's go ahead and read that page it says the father the great father the masculine the protector alongside the mother the father resides in a central axis of the archetypal family the father embodies both light and dark aspects of the masculine thus he is infinitely dynamic and complex his energy is strong and regal embodying such virtues as honesty wisdom and loyalty yet ironically and simultaneously the father is oft often absent literally or emotionally and through absence or action the father eventually reveals that he is neither a king nor god but a human being with many flaws and wounds he is both the guardian and the one who leads us to the wolves here he has gone the champion and the failure the father can re can never resolve or escape this duality it is inherent in this archetype itself witnessing the father's limitation allows a child to grow beyond the family and into the world it says when it's in light it's supportive strategic regal and kind and when it's in dark it's disappearing disappointing and devastated by failures super interesting <clears throat> so i really feel like a lot of this group is maybe starting to kind of understand how their parents um you know or lack of parents have maybe influenced their personality and i feel like you're really starting to kind of gain control over your personality just by knowing that so um let me scoot closer <clears throat> Um, but it feels like you are also kind of feeling more sure of yourself. Like, I feel like you're maybe starting to build your confidence up in ways that your, that in ways that, um, your parents maybe could or couldn't do. And you're like finally learning how to properly build your confidence up for yourself. <clears throat> it feels like you're also very much aligned with like your destiny right now two Ooh, let's go ahead and deal cards i feel like it's time but yeah it feels like you're really aligned with your destiny um <clears throat> and soul purpose too it really feels like you have like a spotlight on your soul and you just have you know clear communication like to your higher self or clear communication or like maybe not clear communication but like you have like clarity on where you're going and why and how you're going to get there Let's see, what comes out? What tarot messages do you have for this group in regards to the full moon? We have a knight of swords that fell. Okay, another archetype. What, what tarot messages do you have for this group? I'm feeling a lot of body soreness for this group. Like, I feel like you guys are, like, hyper um, sensitive, like, to your bodies right now. Um, so I think it's really important to eat right i think it's really important to drink enough water and i also think it's really important to try and like you know um try to drop any type of like bad health habits or addictions if you can because i just feel like your body's going to be super sensitive to it and these things might you know bite you in the butt more than they normally do and it can kind of throw you off <clears throat> i just feel like it's time to take care of yourself okay the eight of Pentacles coming out. Let's see, one more archetype card. There's one more lesson card. Something I'm seeing with that Eight of Pentacles energy, it seems like it's go time for you guys. It's grind time, it's work time. Um, perhaps you, I feel like this group is coming out of like a hibernation or coming out of like sleepy mode. I'm going to put this back. I want these cards to fall out one at a time. <clears throat> but yeah, it feels like this group is coming out of like a hibernation, coming out of sleepy mode. And I feel like now you guys are going to be very like booked and busy um, and kind of like, you know, preparing to blossom. You're getting ready to blossom. Um, but you need to like, you know, understand that like, you know, you might be tired sometimes. You might have those all nighters sometimes. And it's not going to be easy you know you have to i think really want you have to really want what it is that you're going for and i think you do i think you do but i feel like spirit's going to put you to work and test that a bit let's see 
Ooh, we have the Six of Cups coming out. This card has been following um, my collective reading since like the beginning of Gemini season. <coughs> Ooh, and my throat just gets tripped up as I say that. And what is Gemini rule? Communication. Ooh, let's see. Let's get some confirmation cards now for these archetype cards then so we can dive deeper into them. Strength coming out. Okay. What about this Eight of Pentacles? Um, Two of Cups. What about this Nine of Swords? Ooh, okay. <clears throat> Page of Swords. And what about this Two of Wands? What about this Two of Wands? Nope, we're going to put that back. I don't want my cards to fall out one by one because I think it's more precise that way. But let's see. Let's get some confirmation for this. Two of Wands coming. No, I need just one card to fall. Hmm, very interesting. Try again. You know, my eye is really being drawn to that Six of Cups card there. <clears throat> I gotta say, I feel like, you know, we are. Mercury is moving direct now, so it's gonna go over um, its the same degrees that it passed when it was retrograde. This is called Mercury's shadow period when Mercury does this. And um, I'm seeing like this review of the past. Think about where the sign of Gemini is in your chart. And I feel like there is this energy of like reviewing um, maybe the big questions. Okay. Or reviewing maybe like, um, yeah, it kind of just seems like that reviewing the big questions and finally getting answers for it. And I also feel like there's this energy to really um, mentally moving on from the past. I feel like you had a lot of back and forth um, energy um, in your mind, maybe of like what you should do and, and what does the past mean and um, where is it all leading to, blah, blah, blah. And I feel like now you're kind of just like, I don't really care. I don't really care about the past or the, or the future. I just care about the present moment and what I'm going to do now and getting clarity for the things at hand now. Um, and I feel like there's a lot of like little like beasts you can tame. And I, I mean little by like little everyday nitty gritty things like, um, you know, handling your bills or finally calling, you know, finally doing a business taxes, like I feel like there's like this little beast that you're going to tame. Um, and I feel like this Capricorn moon will probably um, give you that maturity and that endurance to like get it done too. <coughs> um, and like I said, when that eight of pentacles fell that I noticed a lot of maturity in this group and I noticed a lot of endurance in this group. This group is ready for the long haul. I feel like you guys are working on legacy okay working on like your long-term careers and really you're at like the groundwork of that we're getting ready to build yourself up and i feel like it's super interesting that this last card like is having such it like doesn't want to fall i feel like um there's like this last little like piece of the puzzle for this group that has like yet to reveal itself and i think that's what this two of swords energy is showing me it's like contemplation like you're always thinking about this last little puzzle piece and how it's gonna play out so let's see what comes out if anything does want to come out and if nothing does then we'll just we'll, we might have to leave it blank we'll see okay so i have the seven of wands energy coming out Okay. 
one thing that immediately popped out to me was the energy of underdog mindset and I feel like this group needs to not have that because I feel like it's this underdog mindset that's making you like move into this new chapter in an uncomfortable way like you're moving into it in like this like quick moving like I just want to conquer this and be the best and um kind of like kick everybody's ass and I need to you're putting so much pressure on it you're putting so much pressure on it that it's not even fun it's like when you turn a game into a competition you know and then all of a sudden the game's not fun anymore that's kind of the energy I'm seeing and it's like you should be having fun right now you should I feel like you're also in this and in this period of of gaining more knowledge gaining more understanding of the world maybe gaining knowledge like I said in the past for you and, and how that has led up to now and how that's going to affect your future maybe gaining um, more knowledge on whatever it is that you're studying or whatever it is that you're working on it seems like you're getting smarter and this is again so that we can better play the game of life it feels um, and so I think you need patience okay and i think you gotta maybe be a little bit more go with the flow there's like this in there's an energy of making things intense if you place all this control and all these expectations on it and you like i can feel like you're the type of person who like creates a plan and it needs to work out just as planned and if it doesn't you can maybe like freak out a little bit you gotta tr you gotta trust the universe's plan because it's not the same as your plan i'm gonna tell you that <laughs> but the universe has a better plan for you and as I say that, my Nine of Cups comes out. And what is the Nine of Cups? The card of your wishes and the card of your manifestations. And I feel like your wishes and your manifestations, like they're well underway, but you still, uh, you still have to, let me channel this energy a bit. It's so interesting because I do feel a blockage here, but it's a blockage that you've kind of put on yourself it's a blockage here that you've kind of put on yourself it feels like resistance it feels like resistance like there's something you're resisting there's something that you're kind of like looking at in a it's like you're looking at it like a climb instead of a journey looking at it like a climb instead of an adventure and that's kind of the problem it's like no this should be an adventure this should be fun this should be exciting for you this is a whole new chapter let's get some two confirmation cards for this nine of cups card here let's see let's see let's see. Ooh. i also can feel in this group that you might feel really disconnected from spirit right now like i feel like you're very focused on just like earthly matters you know connecting with your trying to balance out your life your job your friends your and all that kind of stuff and i feel like you that's okay i feel like you've done the spiritual work like you've been in um that state where you've been trying to heal and trying to um discover yourself and soul search and all. i feel like you've done that and now you're like ready to apply it into the real world so if you feel <clears throat> like a little disconnected from spirit no you're not you're absolutely not um, you're kind of just like leading spirit right now um, there's this quote that I got from Nadia Shah I'm not sure if she she's the person who said it but all I remember is that I heard it watching her YouTube video but I think she might have said it and she said um, that we are either co-creating leading or surrendering to the universe okay right now you're leading okay you're leading so let's see <clears throat> so that's why i feel like the universe it's not that you're like disconnected it's that the universe is kind of like it's your call it's your call and we'll follow you and as i say that queen of swords came out so i feel like you're you're kind of you're kind of having to do a lot of spring cleaning in the mind mentally because <clears throat> I feel like sometimes you can kind of get in defense mode and it can kind of make you a little bit cutthroat <laughs> um, and as I say that the full card and the queen of cups come out but yeah I kind of feel like you can get a little bit cutthroat and so this 
this um, energy is inviting you to evaluate the mind and to do some spring cleaning and to soften up a bit and to kind of get more in touch with your emotions and more with your heart like I feel like you've done enough thinking and planning and now you kind of have to actually f feel excited about it passionate about it and driven and you have to work on that side of things <clears throat> And you have a full card here, so I know a lot of things are still unclear and a lot of things are still unknown, but that's okay. You can trust it. The full card is, is that theme of leaping into the unknown, of, leap, of taking that leap of faith. And I feel like you've already taken it, okay? And I feel like this is confirmation that um, it, was, it was the right move. It was the right move. I feel you're very in alignment right now, too. Like everything just seems to be working out smoothly and swimmingly. That's why I see this Two of Cups energy. There's a sense of harmony coming over your life. And I feel like that can kind of like scare people sometimes. Like if people aren't used to things being harmonious, like people can sometimes feel um, like uncomfortable when um, life is running smooth and when life is running harmoniously if they're so, if they're used to life um usually being treacherous usually being hard it can sometimes be like the stillness that kind of like makes people sus you know they're like hmm and i can kind of feel that here don't be sus don't be sus like things good things can happen to you too you know good things can happen to you too okay channeling this energy a bit I feel, I feel I'm seeing the energy of like a balloon and it just is like decompressing and it releases all the air that's what I feel like you're doing on an emotional level like releasing all that emotional buildup I feel like there was a lot of emotional buildup and gunk that like this um I think the eclipse season really started to like drain that out and now this full moon and Capricorn's gonna like complete it and make sure there's none of that left and I think you're gonna get in a blank canvas here emotionally which you know means leave yourself open to change your emotional patterns and your emotional habits as well because you're probably going to develop better ones now that you've you know learned the lessons and you've done the healing work <clears throat> okay let's see anything else I want to say I sense um, a lot of luck coming in for this group too Lots of lucky energy. Okay. Let's go ahead and pull a postcard for this group. Something about this group too that I'm channeling is I feel like you do not need to like try too hard. I almost feel like trying too hard like ruins things for you in a way. Um, I feel like there's something about you that's so naturally magnetic. You know, the sun is a heart burning eye-catching type energy we all step outside and the sun can blind us sometimes if it's too bright right and i feel like that's like your energy right now it's like you can almost like take it down a notch <laughs> it's like you're so bright and so magnetic um trust me you don't even have to try try to use it to your advantage um but i also feel like if you're trying too hard it can kind of like actually turn people off a bit Let's see. <clears throat> but that means there's a sense of ease for you, you know, especially when it comes to being noticed and getting attention. I also can sense like a bit of like a friendship or a connection maybe sneaking up on y'all. Just a little. That might not be true for everybody, but I can kind of see a little bit of a like connection sneaking up on everyone. Okay. Let's see what this card says. It says, Dearest you, miracles never run out. Look back at look back over your life and you will see so many moments of synchronicity when all the right people, the right place, and the right opportunities at the right time just showed up without any of your help. Think back to how you felt just before a miracle happened. You felt you were giving up, but it was more like a gentle surrender to whatever was about to happen. We want you to know that miracles are being con 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 connect 
what is this word? Concocted. Oh, okay. It says, we want you to know that miracles are being concocted for you and you will never run out of them. You just don't get to choose how they come or who will deliver them, when they will show up and what they will do for you. All of that is our department. Spirit knows what is best for you and what wants to be expressed through you. You are an incre- you are incredible and amazing and a magnet for miracles. And that would be a good mantra for you today. We're on it, so relax. If you only knew how much you were loved. Oh, so cute. I'm holding this up in case you want to screenshot it, but I love that. I feel like it really confirms what I was saying about how there's a huge sense of luck here for this group. But all right, pile number three. So that was it for your reading. Thank you so much for tuning in. Why don't you guys comment some sun emojis down below so that way I know you clicked on this reading and that you made it this far. And if you guys want to book with me, I'll leave my links down below. Um, But yeah, it was such a pleasure working with your energy. I hope you subscribe to this channel and give this video a like. I'll see you in my next video. Hello everybody, so if you chose pile number four or the nine of pentacles or the Peruvian um, angelite, then this message is for you. So a couple things I'm sensing intuitively. First thing is really random, but I feel like if this group has been experiencing like headaches or anything like that, you might want to check like the lighting fixtures in your room it feels like there could there's like lighting that is just causing some headaches in your room okay anyways moving on next thing i felt this group is this group needs to like play more like the the way this group feels it kind of feels like you know if you have like a really tight like ponytail with a bun on and then you like finally let that ponytail out and you like shake it and you rub your head out that's what this group needs to do you guys need to like shake it off you know rub your head rub your body massage it i feel like there's a lot of like soreness coming through and headaches coming through and it's probably because there was a lot of like toxicity leaving your body like toxic people toxic you know just thing like just just toxic energy i feel like there's a lot of that leaving your body so there's some soreness here and you guys just need to like rub your head um and yeah and I feel like you guys need to like have more fun you know I feel like this group is like glued to the computer all day and they just like work 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 and I feel like you guys need to you know start generating fun I feel like you're the type of person who like waits to be invited out sometimes and if you're not invited out then you're kind of like my life is like boring it's not the fun you can kind of get you know gloomy but i feel like you need to start actually generating the experiences for yourself you know be the person who plans be the person who invites your friends out um start kind of like enjoying life what is all this work for if you're not gonna enjoy it that's what i keep hearing from your guides okay Let's go ahead and pull some tarot now. Let's get some messages for this group in regards to the full moon and just what's happening with life right now and all that good stuff. Giving us a good shuffle. Okay, so let's get some lessons and archetypes. Okay, so we have the Four of Swords. Okay. Ooh, I I don't know if this group is seeing a lot of spiders and spider webs. Four of Cups. But um, I noticed like the theme of spider coming in and okay i'll get to ooh nine of swords and the tower this group okay let's pull some um let's pull some confirmation cards let's see let's confirm our tower card 
Okay, we have the King of Wands confirming that. Let's confirm our Four of Cups card. Nope, I want one card to fall. So this is a nice and precise reading. We have one. Okay, perfect. Three of Wands. And can I get the Four of... Ooh. Sorry, we want one card to fall at a time. Need to get that back. Another shuffle. Okay, can we get confirmation, please, for the Four of Swords? Here it is. Queen of Cups. And can I get confirmation, please, for that Nine of Swords? Okay, Ooh, the Moon. I love that card because. Um, I was thinking heavily of moon energy when I was looking at this four of swords. Okay. And let's get some three. Extra three cards here. One and two. Okay. And let's do three. Okay. Five. Okay, so this group, something about this group's energy is so emotional, <laughs> um, but so like beautiful at the same time, which I, that to me w was automatic like lunar energy, being emotional, mysterious, yet there's this daunting beauty to it. That's what your aura and energy feels like. The Four of Swords really spoke out to me, this energy of rest, I feel like it's so important because I feel like you're going to be very busy, this group, I feel like you're going to be busy, 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 but I feel like you really need to make sure that you're like strict with your bedtime or something, um, don't sacrifice too much rest, you need that time to charge up, and I feel like too, that uh, dreams are giving you intuitive like messages or sense of like, Go, like connecting with yourself when you sleep and so I feel like your dream world can be really active um and I also feel like there's like this dreamy like energy to things right now it's very like dreams do come true type energy or like manifestations do come true type energy like I feel like you know probably in past readings you might have been pulling a lot of the magician card here Something that I am seeing here is that a lot of like deep emotional things might come up because we have the Queen of Cups and the Tower card and the Four of Cups. So I feel like there might be a lot of like heaviness that can come from that. And I think you guys kind of have to learn how to release that and keep yourselves feeling light because I think that. You know this is this is the time to fly this isn't this is not the time to be heavy this is the time to keep things as light as you can and so that way he, you can kind of be more in flow with life I feel like this group is changing a lot spiritually changing a lot of their mind changing a lot of how their psyche works and I think it's making you an overall stronger person. And that's why we have this King of Wands card coming from the Tower card. And I feel like you're also kind of mapping out your life right now. Like, I think you've done all the dreaming. You know, you've, you've done all the dreaming and now you're kind of ready to figure out how you're going to get there. And kind of like map out your journey. And I see that there can be a lot of heavy things that come up on a mental plane and I see that here with the nine of swords like heavy thoughts or like heavy realizations or heavy like memories coming up but it doesn't feel like they throw you off or anything because it feels like you're in a position right now where you're very safe and you're very strong and you're very like ready to face these things you know it's not like it caught you by surprise or anything like you decided to take some time off and face these things and I think you're being really rewarded for doing that 
And I think, you know, the reward is coming in a way where your just like mind feels more free, you feel more ease, you can get better sleep now. Something about this group feels like y'all's sleep, like, is improving and like you're finally able to get on a sleep schedule. I feel like this group maybe was struggling a lot with sleep and insomnia for a bit. And I feel like that's starting to heal now as you kind of like release these thoughts and you talk about them or you write about them or you, you know, sing about them or you just, um, you just acknowledge them in some type of way. Super interesting. I also feel like this group has to start feeling... Let me, let me channel this energy, but this three of wands energy. With this four of cups energy. I feel like this group can get like frustrated really fast. And it kind of has to watch out for that. It can't like let itself spiral. I think that's something that's important here is don't let yourself spiral this I feel like this group might have a tendency where they can kind of do that try not to let that happen because I feel like you're in the middle of it feels like you're like it's like you're too close to quit it's it's you're too close to things to just let doubt get in the way let anxieties get in the way let these old things that have always gotten your way get in your way again don't let that happen if you're like nine out of ten of the way there that's like how i see it is you're nine out of ten of the way there okay so whatever little hiccups or obstacles that come up you really gotta you know rise above them right now and like i said this is your time to go to work this is your time to go to work and grind and blossom and build You're getting ready for something, you know? We have this energy of Queen of Cups and this person is like fertile, you know? There's this energy of nesting, there's this energy of building, this energy of getting ready for something. You might not know what that exactly is yet, but it feels like it's what you've been trying to manifest. It feels like life purpose. Okay, let's look at these, let's look at these extra three cards. I have Seven of Pentacles, I have Knight of Pentacles, and I have Five of Wands. Be careful of like gossip and getting involved in drama. This is not the time. I feel like this is the time to just focus on you and focus on your work and what you're building and have fun. Like I said, things need to be fun and playful and happy. Um, but try to stay out of drama. I feel like it just bites you in the butt in some kind of way if you're like talking smack about somebody or like anything like that. Like I said, it feels like it can spiral really fast. So stay out of any of that drama. Um, and I also feel like this is a time though to like air out things talk things out, say your apologies, like, confront people in a, you know, kind way, in an effective way, but, like, it is a time to just air out your dirty laundry, like, you know, if you've been hiding something, you've been wanting to tell someone the truth about it, just tell them, tell them, because I really feel like the truth can kind of just, like, spill out right now, and it's better off that it comes to light, you know, in your control than out of your control. But also, at the same time, I feel like a lot of things are going to be coming to light, you know, for, to, towards you. Like, people are going to be showing themselves. The truth the truth's going to come out. I think hidden enemies will be clear as day. It's, nothing feels like it can be behind the scenes right now. It feels very, like, up front, like a little birdie will tell you. You know, if something's happening, a little birdie will tell you. So there's no hiding. There's no behind the scenes work here. So don't be afraid of that. Um, but also, don't get caught up in that. Don't get, don't let that kind of stuff distract you. It's your time to be working. Also, don't be afraid to be in the beginning stages of stuff. Don't be afraid to be an apprentice. Don't be afraid to be a student. Don't be afraid to be, you know, 
um, an intern, don't be afraid to do that. Like, everybody has to start somewhere, you know? And I kind of feel like you guys might be at that phase. And it feels like you're very excited and you're enthusiastic, but sometimes, you know, authority figures and whatnot can kind of come in and try to, like, you know, humble you and stuff like that. Don't let them. Don't let them. They're just scared because, you know, the fresh meat is looking promising and it's looking like it's gonna come for their careers and their money in their bag so they're just threatened <laughs> but I do feel this energy of like yeah like you you are getting good at what you do like even though you might be at these ap apprentice stages people see the potential in you and you need to make sure you see it in yourself okay so that way you don't doubt yourself because you got to be believing in yourself okay so let's go ahead and just pull a postcard now this is a postcard from uh spirit from the colette baron reed deck or by colette baron reed in the bad okay my brain is like half on right now because like i just started school so i'm like adjusting to working full-time and school but we're loving it we're loving it okay let's get a postcard for this group please if this reading resonated with you by the way and you'd like to book a personal one check out my links down below let's see can we get a postcard for this group postcard for this group Oop, here it is Okay. Oh, there's two. I'm going to pick again because I only want one to fall. Sorry, guys. I'm the type of tarot reader who really likes like one card falling at a time because to me it just feels more precise. Okay. Let's get one card, please. One postcard. I am just intuitively sensing that the month of October and like November are gonna be really fun for this group like something about that time period feels really like romantic for you Ooh, but I don't know just that's just something I'm intuitively sensing and I really like this card we're gonna pull it okay it says dearest you miracles never run out Look back over your life and you will see so many... Okay, what? No, we're going to pull another card because I pulled this for another deck. And so we're going to just ask for a different one. Let's get a different message, Spirit. You already gave us that message. But yeah, something about spooky season is feeling really romantic for this group. Okay, here's a card. It says... Dear you, since you're on earth, you understand how buildings are built. Yes. Ooh, this card's a little sassy. <laughs> it says a good solid foundation and yet flexibility too in case of earthquakes. Truth be told, you can't offer something sustainable unless it is built from a solid base, which it be wh whether it be an idea that takes from one f okay, I'm getting tongue twisted, whether it be an idea that takes form one step at a time or an actual house that needs a sturdy foundation dug poured and built we want to remind you of this because you might need a little encouragement to see this is true in your life at this time celebrate the fact that right now you can repair the cracks in your foundation in your life effortlessly as well as you do a general sight check to ensure your hard work is being well supported do this and know you are building your life on a perfect and sound foundation that will allow you to welcome the many miracles wanting to visit. We're so happy for you and so intrigued by what you're building. I love this energy because we were talking a bit about you kind of like just focus on your like grind right now, focus on the groundwork, um, doing that little like nitty bitty, you know, um, solving the cracks, getting things right because you're getting ready to blossom. You're getting ready to um i think build for the long run so i'm gonna hold this up here in case you want to screenshot it and read it back 
But yeah, that was it for your reading. Thank you so much for tuning in, group number four. I really hope you enjoyed this. If you guys made it this far, maybe comment some purple hearts down below so I know which reading you picked. Um, but yeah, it was such a pleasure working with your energy. I hope you like and subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in my next video.